Hey everybody, Scott Sprint here, DocSports.com. It is the return of our NFL previews, going team by team, division by division. We're going to wrap up the NFC North today with the Detroit Lions, their chances to win the division, over under wins total, all that good stuff. And then we'll start a new division with tomorrow's report. But before I get to all of that, real quick note, I am involved in soccer. We've had a couple of four-unit premium plays the last couple of days in the international sports world. We won with the side on Wednesday. I pushed on Thursday, so 101 the last couple of days. And as I mentioned, we were going to really jump in, start handicapping soccer. We're going to get a couple of people we know who bet soccer religiously, uh, that we respect, who know the value, and we're going to put our heads together, and we have. So, uh, push yesterday with the total. I do have a free total in Friday's Belarus soccer coming up at the end of this report. We've also got a premium play for Friday, Belarus soccer at 12.30 Eastern, 9.30 Pacific. That's the start of the game, the kickoff. We'll actually post the play at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Friday, exclusively, as you know, at DocSports.com. Check out my homepage. Also, big card Nicaraguan and Belarus soccer, Premier League soccer on Saturday will be in action uh, probably in both leagues. Plenty of games to choose from on Saturday. Excited about that. And uh, listen, uh, with the free pick in soccer coming up. Just wanted to mention real quick, we're going to pass on early Friday morning's Taiwan baseball card. Thought about China Trust over Uni, but guys, it's upwards of minus $2 right now with China Trust. I think Uni uh, came back to reality a bit in their 15-3 to loss to Rakuten on Thursday morning. So a pass on Friday, Taiwan baseball. But be sure to check out Belarus soccer over at DocSports.com. All right, uh, again, we've got a free play in Belarus soccer for Friday coming up at the end of this report. Uh, also, a COVID-19 update. Let's get to the Detroit Lions upcoming season. It is April 17th. We may very well uh, make some adjustments on these teams when we get close to an actual start date for the NFL and the teams that we adjust will let you know then but as of right now uh, you're looking at uh, uh, Detroit at plus 850 to win the division uh, over under wins total of six and a half we've seen anywhere from you know minus a buck f oh, f minus 105 on the under up to minus a dollar 25 Listen, player descent has been crazy this offseason. Former players not exactly glowing about their time under Matt Patricia. Got to wonder where the returning players' heads are going to be, where they're going to be between the years in the locker room under the current coaching staff. The team did lose uh, their final nine games last season. They didn't have Matthew Stafford for a big chunk of it. The defense was bad. It didn't matter if you're talking about overall defense, DVOA, scoring allowed. They were just bad across the board. Uh, so they need a defensive tackle. They need a defensive end. They needed a corner. I do like the signing of former Falcon uh, defensive back Desmond Trufant. Immediate upgrade in the defensive backfield. They'll still need a defensive tackle. They'll still need an end. They need offensive linemen. There's no doubt about that. I do like the improvement. Uh, with a real nice pickup and running back. You know what I'm talking about in the offseason. Here's the key. They brought in five players, five defenders with Patriot ties for this year's version of the Detroit Lions. And with Matt Patricia knowing these guys and knowing he's got to win now, uh, you would think that could only help. We'll wait and see. The strength of schedule isn't overly tough. 128 points is where I rank their strength of schedule. Uh, they do have a somewhat soft road slate because a couple of teams that I have power rated beneath Detroit uh, are on their non-divisional schedule. Uh, the Redskins, the Jaguars, the Panthers. These are, these are teams that Detroit can beat uh, in 2020. So I think two and three non-divisional straight up road record is in the cards for Detroit. You've got the Washington Redskins that they're going to welcome at home. But that home schedule is ultra tough, not just within the division. But you're talking about uh, games against the New Orleans Saints, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Houston Texans, even the Indianapolis Colts. Those are tough home games outside of the division. Uh, maybe they get by the Washington Redskins at home. They should in that particular game. Maybe get a win or two in the division at home. But when you add everything up, under six and a half wins looks like the way to go for me in 2020 with the Detroit Lions. All right, again, we're gonna, we got a, a premium pick over at DocSports.com for Friday in Belarus soccer. The game gets underway at 12.30 Eastern, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, so be sure to jump on that. Don't forget about the Saturday card, which will be posted early Saturday morning. Uh, as far as our free pick here for Friday soccer, I'm going to recommend playing over two goals between Smolovici and Babruisk. Now, uh, the price on that is right around plus $1.20, give or take a few cents on where you shop. But definitely plus money over two between these two seller dwellers in the Belarus Premier League. Both teams are desperate for a win. 
Uh, they're going to be risking a little bit here. Uh, I think you're going to see both of these teams basically trying to play out of potential relegation all season long. When you handicap these two teams, there's not a whole lot to like about either side. Uh, if you look at what Smolovici's done, they've got two draws and two losses with no wins so far this season. Babruis, three losses, one draw, no wins so far on the season. Uh, Babruis does have a decent goal scorer, a guy by the name of Koval. And I believe with both teams in bad need of a win, remember, there's a six-point swing when you're talking about getting three points in the standings if you win a game. So a six-point swing. They've got a decent goal score. I'm not going to back them or Smolovici to win this game, but I do think playing over two goals is the way to go with two teams playing in somewhat desperation, even though only, even though we're only five games into the season. So we're going to play over two uh, plus a dollar twenty. Looks like a fairly popular number out there right now that you can find. I think at very worst we get a push out of this. I don't think it'll stay under because of the desperate need of a win for both of these teams. So we're going to play over two goals between Smolovici and Babruis. That game goes at 10.30 a.m. Eastern on Friday morning. Uh, the premium pick uh, goes at 12.30 Eastern, 9.30 a.m. Pacific on Friday morning. So be sure to grab that at DocSports.com. So again, that game over is our recommendation in Friday soccer. Detroit Lions under six and a half wins is our recommendation in the NFL. We'll jump to a new division starting with our next report, which I should add, have up late Friday night, early Saturday morning, because I want to get you a free pick too in Saturday soccer. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. One more quick note I almost forgot. Check out Gilead Sciences. Type it into your Google search. Really promising, hopeful news. Cautiously optimistic, but optimistic nonetheless. Check it out. Enter Gilead Sciences in Google. I, I don't want to talk for 10 minutes. I'm not a scientist about what's going on with Gilead, but it might be a situation where we find something that can give us a bridge until a vaccine is found sometime in 20. 21. So most of us can get back to a somewhat normal life if this comes to fruition. Their stocks went through the roof. I think Friday's going to be a big day on the stock market. But anyway, uh, check it out. Gilead Sciences. Google it. You'll be happy you did. Some promising, hopeful news. Cautious, but hopeful uh, in this report that came out on Thursday. All right, listen, I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. Right back here late Friday night, early Saturday morning with our next free pick and report. We'll talk to you then.